So welcome everyone for another round of Sonotic Modded. My sea truck is ready to rock, but not roll. I took that mod out. It was fun, but not really that useful to me. However, before we go rocking around the world, I do have some more upgrades to make that are mod related. We do have, of course, our armor upgrades, which I've got the armor upgrade Mark 1 in place. We're going to upgrade to Mark 2, which just requires one more enamel glass, some nickel ore, and I'm, I'm good on the nickel ore. And actually, uh, we also need to go ahead and do depth 3 upgrade because I can do a depth 4 and a depth 5. I really don't think I need those. Again, because where am I going? That's 1.7 kilometers down, but we'll do it anyway. But to get the Mark III, I am short by one kyanite. So let's see if with the extravagant gifts mods, my uh, sea monkey friends will start bringing me some kyanite. What you got? Nickel ore. Okay, I will take it. But uh, you can do better than that. I believe in you. Oh, hey, thank you. Yes, some kyanite. All right. I have what I need. C truck depth upgrade Mark three done. Now we go in here and I can already make the Mark four. I mean, really, I don't need it other than it gives me that extra little bit down in the red crystal zone. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and make it anyway. Why not? I, I can go deeper than the normal story areas of the game. Now we upgrade better armor, less damage from Chalicerates. Uh, you know, I actually, I might do this one later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. 50% still seems to be the right speed for me on the sea truck. I, I just feel comfortable at that speed. I don't think I want to go above that, honestly. So with the new upgrades in place, we're really going to kick it off now. I am not doing any new mods this video because, I mean, I'm burning through a lot of the mods quickly that are available. So it's time to give some mod creators an opportunity to get some new mods going but we are going to get some stuff done with the existing mods part of that being i still have it scanned and unlocked uh available arms from the c truck arms mod so we're going to be looking for that and of course with that we're going down into the crystal caves the purple crystal caves but on the way we're going to stop back in here because you again you can look she's uh there's Back more from the than any damn from gadget, the greenhouse, and now I can go in here, which is a critical thing, so I can scan stuff like the fridge. I want a fridge. I want to be able to keep my food cold. And yo, know, stove. It it looks cool. Gotta get the shower because we want to make sure we can stay clean. Even though I don't think she's been using that much. This is not how I like going into the purple crystal area, but it works. I, I find the other location is a lot easier to find my way around from. Propulsion arm. All right, prawn suit propulsion arm. It's fine. I need to unlock it anyway. But yeah, we're going to look for the sea truck arm fragments as well. They're somewhere in the crystal caves. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. Yep. I already knew about that. Actually, uh, I got power. So, hmm. Apparently, I'm not close enough yet to detect the Leviathan class creature. But, of course, I can't always scan for fragments, and that might make things go a little faster. I hear the creature scan Kai not while I can take the opportunity to. And that's one, and two, three, four. All right here as I come down from Marguerite's little place. So, five. So, even without the seed monkeys, easy to come get the Kyanot that I needed. Just the seed monkeys saved me a little bit of trouble. And that's a sea truck torpedo arm fragment. So, that's one. There's sea truck torpedo arm, if I can not be punched. That's two of four. Okay, that's different. Well, at least three of four now. Uh, usually, I think the, the other ones, we're about to find out right here. Uh, propulsion arm fragment. There should be, you know, three scans, right? 
Oh, it's unlocked now. Okay, done. Oh, no. He, he, I think he sees me. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, uh, is it going into the terrain? I can't tell. Ah, there he is. Got him. Yeah, that's right. Get away from here. Ah. I knew I heard him somewhere right around me. And I really need to add, uh, either two more of the little mod storage upgrade modules or another storage module cabin because I am already running out of room. Get away from me. Don't hover around me. What is it? And he went into the wall again. Sea truck torpedo arm fragment number four. Cool. All right. Uh, where'd you go? Propulsion arm fragment. Okay, there we go. That's the other one. So, so far I'm finding all the arm fragments. I haven't found the last of the grappling arm fragment yet. That's a bit sparse, but I have not been able to find any of the drill or claw arm fragments. So, uh, it's good to see that I'm actually finding at least these see truck propulsion arm fragment i can't even remember the number now at this point is that that's three or four please tell me if this is nope all right not four or four please be four or four please be four. not four of four please be four of four not four of four one of way too many the wrong one i've already got it please finally four of four all right so that's going to unlock through normal method sea truck propulsion arm and sea truck torpedo arm i the one more grappling arm and of course again i couldn't find drill or claw i had to use commands for those because as much as i searched i went through the entire mine not a single drill arm fragment anywhere for the the drill arm module for that oh, there we go yep I am near one of the spots, and I believe I, it's the right one that I like to use. Yes, there we are. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to try to dive down with the whole thing. I don't want Big Meanie coming after my sea truck. I'm going to get another part, which, you know, honestly, this should be the last part you get. But I don't like the land travel component of the game, so I'm doing this one second. You will be able to construct I really wish we had some kind of like extra passageway or something that led around. Something else here to scan. Seems just a waste of space for one item like that. So now I'm back and it is time to test out some new arms as well as do some more upgrades. I mean... You know, I need some more storage space, and I've got a lot of titanium right now. I've got a bunch of lithium on that trip. So I'm going to knock out two more of the sea truck storage modules, just like I normally would have done for a sea truck or for a sea moth. I'm going to load the first four slots with these if it will let me. I don't know if I can even do that. Let's try that. I don't know if it will take more than two of them. I mean, where do they go? I got one and two on that. Uh, I mean, is there another bulb? Or it's going to pop up? Is it going to work at all? Uh, let's see, one and two. I don't see a third one. You know what? Let's just try this. If I get in. I also want to adjust my sea truck colors because. Uh, okay. Two works. One works. Three doesn't work. So. Can't only have two modules. Hmm. I mean, they're bigger modules. I'll give you that, but I can only have two. So, ah, that was not useful then. Let's do propulsion arm and, well, you know, yeah, let's do propulsion arm because we know how torpedo arms work. You throw torpedoes in, they shoot. Propulsion arm is basically like a claw arm. You know, you, you pick stuff up. So let's just use it to pick some stuff up and, uh, 
Let's see what happens. I'm not even going to worry about having uh, anything else attached. Ah! Ha ha! Got, oh, he's dead already. I, I killed him already. It's okay. Uh, he's falling, falling very slowly. Apparently, we got very low gravity on this planet. Or at least they are not affected by gravity. Maybe he, he's flying. Even dead, he's flying. And that one's doing the same thing. Okay, well, never mind. There's it. I hear him. I hear him. Where are you at? Is, that, is it one of the little ones? Boop. It is one of the little ones. Look, he, he's right there. It's the little guy. I can't pick him up. Ah, he's small enough. I should be able to pick him up. Where, where'd you go? It's no fair when you're that small. I can't track you. Oh, it didn't work. The fish doesn't go through the other fish. Oh, three pointer. All right. You like rock so much, Mr. Puncher. Boom. Uh, okay. How I, I, I can't take it and it cuts it off as soon as I do. All right. So that might actually work. Okay. With the claw arm, you know, pick stuff up like that. Yeah, I see that crypto right there. He, he's going crazy. Goal! I got myself a sea monkey. All right. As long as I like, don't move too fast. I mean, I just tap it. He will be okay. Except for the fact he went really fast. You know what? Let's see. Oh, I hit him. He didn't die. They go faster than the other ones. Where's where's he going? He's not getting away from me. He might have landed on the roof of my base. Oh. Oh, that was a that was close right there. We need some kind of storage for stuff I'm not using. And, uh, you know, I really would love to just be able to rotate that. I mean, I could do it like that, but if I could rotate it sideways, that'd be cool. Yeah. Let's just go safe with this right there. Sea truck propulsion arm. And just to satisfy my curiosity, if I get this line up just right. It is it looks oh yeah see it's, it's sticking out but it is mounting upside down which is a nice aspect i just need to go further back it's not it's like sticking way out but that is very nice if you really wanted to you could you can't mount it like flat back against the wall like or against the ceiling but you can mount it upside down to the ceiling and you know what let's go ahead and do because i've got storage below we'll do a c truck Torpedo arm and uh, gotta go here for that. Yeah, let's see. Gas torpedo. Sulfur actually makes a lot of sense. It kind of makes more sense than it did in the first game. Uh, we'll just knock a couple of those. Torpedo arm. Okay. And let's see. We gotta get around here. I'm assuming it's kind of the same ordeal. Some sort of, well, it's not doing anything right there. All right. So, unfortunately, doesn't seem to let you manipulate it while it's docked. Seems like that would be a great time to do it. Uh, but it didn't let me do that. He was having problems navigating around the back of the sea truck. Oh, Gigantus Cryptosuchus. There we go. Boom! Oh, go, go. There, got him. Two torpedoes dead. Yeah, look at that. His head is almost as big as the sea truck. That's, that's just crazy how much bigger he is. And that's just from the random creature size mod. Whoa, I didn't even see this before. There is a depth upgrade mark six. 2,050 meters, so like double the deepest area of normal story in the game. Why do we even need that? And I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey, that I was ignoring you. Pat on the head. Yeah, uh, why do we need a Mark 6? 
That's crazy. There you are. All right, come here, buddy. Boom. What? It went right through him. That is totally not cool. Well, I hate when the stupid Leviathans have parts of them that cannot be interacted with. Like, there, I got him on the belly. Yeah. And, yeah, that that's, doesn't work very well when you can shoot right through their face. It might be, uh, granted, you know, the random size mod, but, I mean, first game, you could shoot right through parts of the Ghost Leviathans, right through the Reaper Leviathans, where it would not interact with them. So, let's go pick a fight. Come here, come here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I can't hit him. So, the random creature size mod is a nice touch in that it generates randomness and how they look. You know, you don't have them all the same size. But it doesn't adjust the size of their hitbox area, how they can be interacted with. He just launched out there. So, yeah, definitely on something like the Leviathans, Telicerates, you can't hit them when they are grabbing hold of you. If you're using the perimeter defense, not a big deal. But if you want to drill some Telicerate face, it could cause a problem. Now, finally, here we go. Depth Upgrade Mark V, which is the one I saw previously, and I assumed was the limit. 1700 meters what we could go to in the first game with the sea truck depth upgrade mods now mark six 2050 meters i don't know why i would need to go that far down in this game honestly i don't i don't know i mean there's no value to it since the only place you're gonna really be able to go that deep is in the void and no uh, stasis rifle in the game, which means you'll be constantly hit by void chalicerates. And uh, it's not going to make for a pleasant experience. So I don't know why you need to go that low, but you know what? We can. I can go down 2,050 meters now with the sea truck. And I said it earlier, and I just remembered I need another storage module, especially since I can only have two of the storage upgrade mods uh installed at a time on that so uh i guess i'm gonna rearrange this or move it into position let it be the first module followed by the storage and followed by other storage and now i have a bunch of ion cubes why not let's do quantum locker number three and you know what while that's going yeah, look, look, there we go. We got that. So that was how big it was. Now I don't even have to like deploy. Boom. So it looks like it kind of like, I, I don't think that's the size. It looks like it's like that and that. And then the third one got split between them, which is kind of a nice little touch. This I think is actually going to go with me. I'm just gonna keep it in the C truck. I saved. So let's try another one. At what point in the number of quantum lockers present does it cause an issue of them being too too big? So that's the size of one right there. That four by four. So we got those. Quantum locker number five. I really wanna see if this breaks it or if it keeps expanding. It's really the only one I care about right now. If it breaks it. Okay, wait, let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, all right. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it split this one. Again, four and four uh, by two on each of those. So it did the same thing. So it's the first two stacked vertically. And then the third one split between those two where they got split side by side. So the fifth one just did that. That means number six should ideally create a longer stack. We're either going to see it shrinking the size of the grid or we're going to see the uh, 
grid being scrollable, it shrank the size of, oh look, that's overlapping up there. That could be a problem. Like, oh no, it's not. It goes over everything else. Okay, so that's helpful. Number seven, number eight. How's that doing? Oh, oh wow. It, yeah, okay. So my inventory is off the screen. Now I know there's at least one mod that lets you expand the inventory uh, as far as like your storage on yourself and things like that. I don't remember if it specifically has a scrolling feature, but I think I remember seeing one mod that had a scrolling feature, which would make this work perfectly. <laughs> uh, but as it stands, you know, without scrolling, which I, I can't seem to do. Uh, yeah, I think four is about all I need, but that's funny is you could just keep going more and more quantum lockers and it doesn't limit you and how many will connect. It'll just keep going. You just need a way to scroll up and down your storage. Obviously, I don't need this many. Four is probably the limit I'm going to do on that. But, you know, that's why I saved before I did this. Actually, let's test this out. I get that. Let's go here. Let's just see. Drop it in. Recycle. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, it looks like it's still down a bit. I may not even have to restart. Like that. I might still do it anyway, but yeah. Okay, yeah. So it is continuing to update. It's not a matter of how many you had at most. So yeah, if you decide to get rid of a locker, uh, then you're okay. It's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So it's just however many are actively available in the world and that means crafted whether they're in storage or not so i got the prosuit torpedo arm and propulsion cannon arms and you know the random creature size mod did throw things off a bit i mean without that i probably would be fine using the torpedo arm definitely useful as far as going out there and driving away Creatures like the Chelicerates, maybe not the best for taking them down at the moment without a stasis rifle in the game, but, you know, it's at least good to be able to drive them away. The, you know, propulsion cannon, fun, can be useful. It, it really depends on your playstyle. For me, it's not the best. Uh, and now I have depth on my sea truck of 2,050 meters. I, I really will never go that far unless somebody comes out with a way to add in a, per, a stasis rifle type effect to the sea truck. Give me a stasis rifle arm for the sea truck so I can freeze those stupid void chelicerates without freezing myself. How about that? That would be a great mod there. But that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know how deep you think we should go in the game of ignoring the void chelicerate should we be able to go that deep is there really any use for it do you think so leave it in a comment below and of course hit subscribe if you haven't done so already as always i'm your host mr spicy thanks so much for watching be sure to keep it spicy this week and i'll see you in the next video